They can't really expect us to find anything but body parts. Uh, you're so smart. But they're all dead because you say so, huh? How's about you shut oh, your mouth man. and open your eyes? If they survive that crash, they definitely the won't survive this shit hole. And go out this boat. Yeah, man. There's a lot of broken shit here. I wonder what they're using it for. Nothing to report here. Yeah, I'm also clear. <sighs> Why do we gotta do the cleanup detail? Shit! I got a survivor! My position! Alright, we got a hostile! Take him out! How you like that shit? Heads up! Hey, we have hostiles out the here! Might be closed. I need eyes on the hostile! What? Forces! Hey! Eyes on hostiles! I need cover! Stay focused! Drop those hostiles. We're dealing with a pro over here. Come on, get him! Get him! Get him! Get him up!
never see this coming. Stop right there! <clears throat> Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? The cave. That's what we call it. Get in. You think this was how things were gonna go when Sentinel came in? What is this place? You boys are right or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? My mind's blown. Yep. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tying with some troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, our choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot-in-the-neck technique to enforce it. Skaltek is still making all the high-tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skelltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. 
calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. You see this coming when Skell first showed up? Farmer to freedom. Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. But Weaver... Hey, just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the Wasp. Calm's blackout. I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. on the other side of all this. You think this was how things were gonna go when Sentinel came in? Our mission here has been hard. So many lost. So many suffering. My closest 
closest allies, my brothers, cut down by a man we once trusted. But we are ghosts. Alone, we are formidable. Together, we are unstoppable. Others have survived here. And I have found the deadliest. As a team, we will take the fight to our enemies. We will avenge our fallen. Because we are ghosts. Available at any point after you have reached Erewhon for the first time, Fury, Fixit, and Vasily can be activated or dismissed at will. And from the beginning, you will be able to fully customize them. This customization includes all of the physical attributes, as well as gear, equipment, or even full costumes. Your teammates can be tweaked just as much as your main character, and they will always follow your own behavior. If you decide to go stealth, they will equip silencers and crouch, or go prone when possible. But if you decide to go loud and open fire, they will stick by your side. When deployed, you can issue different orders to your teammates through the order wheel. There are four different orders you can give to your teammates. You can tell them to regroup on your location, to hold their current position, go to a specific location, and to open fire on nearby enemies. These orders can be given at any time, even through your binoculars and drone. Once they approach potential threats, the teammates will notify you and mark them automatically. You got a hostile. With a good look at your enemies, you will be able to set up a sync shot where each of your teammates picks a target. You can even link it to your three sync shot drones for a simultaneous seven target takedown. The teammates have weapons equipped at all times, a versatile assault rifle to accommodate all situations, and a primary weapon that you will be able to fine-tune. Indeed, apart from mark upgrades and passive bonuses, the full gunsmith is accessible to your teammates, and their weapon of choice will have a direct effect on the battleground. Depending on the type of weapon they have equipped, the teammates will adapt their engagement distance and rate of fire. From close distance shotgun wielding, all the way to long distance sniper shots. Of course, if you get taken down, your teammates' priority will be to try and rescue you. To achieve that, they will first focus their fire on the surrounding enemies before getting to you. And they will expect the same from you, especially as you will be able to carry them to safety if the situation requires it. We'll see you on the battlefield, ghosts.
conspiracy is degraded. But FSB has told us that Stone has aligned himself with a group of Russian ultra-nationalists. They have a stockpile of chemical weapons. We believe they intend to use the drone technology to conduct a coordinated terrorist attack against the U.S. Millions of American lives could be at stake. You're going to have to dismantle this new organization by eliminating their top leadership. Stone is the highest priority. I'm sending you an updated target deck with the HVTs. This comes all the way from the top, my friend. But with Congress and all eyes on us, we can't send support. Copy all, sir. I won't let you down. We're counting on you, Nomad. Good luck. This was how things were going to go when Sentinel came in. You ever think we'd end up here? Hey, I, I... You heard from Samuel? Not since last... Hello. No need to fear. Greetings, stranger. Couldn't help but overhear. There's some kind of problem? We're not sure. Our friend Samuel's missing. You a homesteader? Yeah, used to be. Before he decided he'd rather live by himself. No great loss, if you ask me. He likes catching his own food. Says it keeps him closer to nature, or something like that. And then he gives the furs and leftover meat to the camp. Never takes anything in return. I don't get it. Sounds like he knows how to take care of himself. Last week, he was down here hollering about running into a bunch of sentinels on his land. They said they carried away a couple of deer he caught, smashed up his traps, and then... This week? Nothing. Samuel's always had a temper, but in this place, these days, you say the wrong thing to the wrong person... Well, you know. Yeah, I know. Say, where are his usual stomping grounds? He's typically around to the southeast of Garden Mangrove. Northeastern part of Gairon. I'll see if I can find him. Thanks. Thanks. See you around. I was, uh, I was trading gear with the outcasts. Well, they seemed all right, no matter what anybody says. There's a lot of chatter about them since the bombing, but they were the first to see the threat of Sentinel. They were the first to fight back. 
The truth is, we're going to need them if we ever decide to stand up. How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? Used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? Yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. Well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. <laughs> bang, bang! <laughs> Hi. 
Now the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. You think this was how things were going to go when Sentinel came? What's the best way to customize my weapons around here? Well, let's see. You're probably going to want a new scope, a couple of rail attachments, some bigger magazines, maybe even a new suppressor. Huh. When we came out here, we were planning... Do you have anything you could sell me? I don't have much, but you can take a look. I'll sell you what I can. I like the way you think. I should have whatever you need. And maybe a few things you didn't know you needed. for this fight? Take as long as you need. Ready for this fight? Take as long as you need.
you ever see this coming? You think this was how things were gonna go when Sentinel came in? How's it going? I'm good. But listen, I need to show you something. Over there on the table. Recognize him? Yeah, his name is Victor Cost. He's old school black ops. My guess is he's here with the CIA. Well, if he's a mole, then he might be able to help us. From what I can tell, his location is somewhere near the channels. You might want to start by looking there. All right, I'll head over and see what I can dig up. This was a good find. Glad I can help, even if I am all dinged up. Thank you. 
think we'd end up here?
whole island. I don't envy him. That much money complicates everything. Hopper's being shot down or something. I heard the Russians and the Cubans banded together to take us over. Check your rounds. Make sure you got a full load. Ooh ah. I lost hearing in my right ear from an Iraqi IED. Truth is, this job's killing me. But I can't imagine doing anything else. We all got our story. How's anyone supposed to get promoted around here if no one quits? No one ever said you had to like it. Last chance. Find shit. I got three weeks left, and I'm out of here. I got nothing to report. Yep, nothing to report over here. <sighs> You hear about those helos crashed on the island? I haven't heard anything. <coughs> huh? Did I? Damn. They need to be neutralized, man. I'm killing on sight the moment I see one.
We got hostiles! Move your ass! Move in positions! Enemy activity in our area. Stay low, stay low. Listen up. We got hostiles around the perimeter. Copy. All personnel clear hot. <laughs> Get away from me! Ghost Actual. This is Nomad. I'm ready to engage Harpy. You copy? Raj Nomad, I'm here. Target Harpy supervises the drone's attack patterns and coordination for gas deployment. His focus is maximum dispersal for maximum casualties. Real name is Claro Gentile. He's been with the wolves since the beginning. He's had his FOB. Place will be swarming. Roger. Nomad out. 